The government is monitoring private phone calls. Your children and my children's private phone Latest calls. NSA systems can report every voice phone call made over an entire nation. New revelations on an American spy program reportedly being compared to a time machine. The NSA has violated the rules on surveillance and even U.S. court rulings thousands of times per year for several years. After September the 11th, 2001, America was shocked and demanded answers. Just nine days after the attack on American soil, President George W. Bush responded by addressing the nation and launching the war on terror. Operation Enduring Freedom, as it would come to be called, was the term used by the Bush administration for the war in Afghanistan, a war lasting from 2001 until 2014. While changes from war were happening overseas, homeland changes were also taking place. Post 9-11 changes included the creation of citizen watch lists, no-fly lists, stricter ID laws, and the most controversial topics surrounding increased security, mass government surveillance of American citizens. Following the terrorist attacks, almost three quarters of Americans were willing to give up some civil liberties due to their fear of further attacks. Ten years following the passage of the Patriot Act, and the consensus was completely reversed. They don't just want your search data or your email. They want everything. They want to tie it to your real-world behaviors, right? location data from your cell phone. The USA Patriot Act greatly increased the scope of the FISA Act, an act with the previous main purpose of foreign surveillance. Phone calls, internet searches, and even text messages can all be collected by the government through the help of telecommunication companies under Section 215 of the Patriot Act. Over time, as revelations of government surveillance unfolded, the debate on privacy and security quickly began gaining attention. In a country continuously breaking down barriers in a technological era, the question must be asked, are we masters of the digital age or its victims? Supporters of increased security argue that mass surveillance revolutionizes our ability to investigate terrorists and prosecute terrorist attacks. Kevin Bankstown, a lawyer and an advocate for privacy, says, I didn't expect the terrorists would be so successful ultimately into getting us to abandon our core principles, and I think the founders would, in many ways, be ashamed of our response to the attack. Edward Snowden is a former NSA contractor responsible for releasing hundreds of secret documents on the unjust actions of the NSA, CIA, and FBI to WikiLeaks. Why did you do this? The NSA has the greatest surveillance capabilities uh, that we've ever seen in history. Now, what they will argue is that they don't uh, use this for nefarious purposes uh, against American citizens. They're using these capabilities to make us vulnerable to them and then saying, wow, I have a gun pointed at your head. I'm not gonna pull the trigger, trust me. Snowden's revelations expose the constant watch that the United States and its citizens are under, a system that makes citizens vulnerable to its own government. The United States of America has been under supervision by its government since 9-11. Uh, I think prior to 9-11, most Americans had never heard of the National Security Agency. You know, it was created during the Cold War really to collect data and spy on the Soviets. And since 9-11, totally flipped. The younger generation of citizens in the country have grown up and spent their entire lives in a country that is constantly under surveillance. Ultimately, my big fear is that, to take it down to a much more simplistic level, I'm fearful that people in your generation can't grow up without being monitored in some way. What's going with that is an inability for you to grow up and make mistakes and learn from your mistakes without being penalized unjustly for it. And in this world that's quick to judge with a tweet, or an Instagram post or a Snapchat story, everybody's ready to point the finger. And uh, it just makes it really easy when somebody snaps a picture. And that's my concern that you don't have it. The older generation of Americans have also experienced a technological revolution and the creation of mass surveillance. In a country that is constantly innovating, 
we need to work together and as a people make the decision of how much privacy we are willing to give up in order to combat the terror and security threats of the world.